everyone. This is Melissa Bryce. I'm the executive director of the GFPD, and I am reaching out today asking for your help. So we received an action alert from Elisa Seeger and Miranda McAuliffe, our friends at the ALD Alliance, and they need some help to spread the word about an appropriations request for newborn screening. Uh, and we really are asking, I know this sounds like a lot, but we are asking for you to call your representative's office in DC uh, today or tomorrow morning and ask for them to support uh, some appropriations language for newborn screening. So the representatives are used to this, um, especially this time of year. This is not out of the ordinary. Um, and we're coming up on the deadline for representatives to submit um, their uh, appropriations requests to the appropriations committee. So that's why we are asking you all to do this today or tomorrow. Uh, so here's what we need you to do. Um, first, we need you to find the number of your local representative in the House of Representatives, uh, not the Senate, just the House today. Um, I will put a link in the comments, uh, which will help you find their phone number. It'll be a 202 area code that you'll want to call, um, and that's their DC office. Uh, next, when the person answers the phone, we want you to immediately identify yourself as a constituent uh, of that representative. So, for instance, I will say when the person answers the phone, um, hello, my name is Melissa Bryce. I am a constituent of Representative Hearns. Uh, and then uh, this is where it gets a little tricky. If you do not know the name of the legislative aide, you're going to ask the person that answers the phone. So it will be something like, can you please tell me the name and email address of Representative Hearn's health legislative aid? And those three words are really important, health legislative aid. So these are the people that um, advise um, the representatives on um, the uh, legislation that's coming through. Those are the people that we speak with at Rare Disease Week or Rare Across America that help, um, that are the conduit to those representatives. So if you don't know that person's name, uh, this is the time to ask for it and their email address. If you do, uh, then you can skip this step and go straight on to the next step. So um, next, we want you to ask the person answering the phone to please ask their rep our representative, their representative, your representative, uh, to sign on to the Dear Colleague letter that you will be sending to the health legislative aid. Um, you can go on at this point and tell the person answering that the letter addresses appropriations requests for newborn screening. Um, and this next step is really important. We're going to briefly tell the person answering the phone why newborn screening matters to you. So if this was me doing this call, uh, I would say something to the effect of my daughter Jenny was born in 2008. And here in Oklahoma, we did not have newborn screening for her disease at that time. <laughs> um, and if we had, we could have gotten her diagnosis a lot easier. Um, we would have avoided a lengthy diagnostic odyssey and we could have helped her earlier um, with the proper treatments and supports that really could have improved her quality of life. Uh, and unfortunately, many children with these diseases die very early on in life, uh, in the middle of the diagnostic odyssey sometimes, or in this case um, for, for our disease, for the related disease, adrenal leukodystrophy, um, those children could receive treatment that actually saves their lives. So this test, this newborn screening is life-saving for those kids. Uh, and then after that, uh, I would thank the person answering the phone for their time. Uh, they may ask you for your name and your contact info. They may ask for clarification about which agency uh, the appropriations request is for. It's for the CDC, the Centers for Disease Control. Um, and then 
you know, to close out the call, you'll just say thank you again um, and remind this person that you'll be reaching out to the health legislative aid. Um, and then your phone call is done, the hard, the hard part's done. Uh, so then after that, you're going to immediately email that health legislative aid um, with, with this information. So in the comments below, I'm going to link text from my email to uh, the health legislative aid for my representative. Um, it includes the specific appropriations language and the link to the sign on letter to have the representative sign. Um, you should know that this sign on letter, this link uh, that I'm, I'm going to give you in my text of my email will not work for, for me. It won't work for you. It only works internally for representatives uh, and their staff. Um, and so this is, this is how these requests work. Um, you know, these sign on letters are really important because usually you have one champion who um, who's a representative that feels strongly about newborn screening and kind of gathers all these letters together from their colleagues. Um, and so the more uh, representatives that we have sign on to this dear colleague letter, um, the better our chances are for getting this funding for newborn screening. Uh, so thanks for watching. Um, please, you know, reach out in the comments. Um, if you have questions, we'll uh, monitor those as best we can for the next 24 hours or so. Um, and uh, we're here to help if you need help. Uh, and thank you so much for everything you do to help spread awareness and be wonderful advocates um, for rare diseases and paroxysmal disorders. Have a great day.